This kind of sucks. I just tried to record this and I've been talking for about 10 minutes and it stopped recording because I ran out of memory. I guess here goes nothing. So I know you guys probably know that I have not been uploading like I used to. I really, really suck at uploading. And there's a reason to that. That's not just because I just don't want to upload. The reasoning to that is I don't ride scooters as much as I used to. When I say that, I mean I only ride like once a week. You love something and you do something that uh, really makes you happy and everything else. You tend to do something, that, that thing, every single day. And recently, just to be honest, I, I lost interest. I've lost interest a couple times in riding scooters and it comes back, but I just... I don't know why, I just don't want to ride anymore and it sucks. It makes me upset that I don't want to ride anymore. There's, I can't force it upon myself. I can't make myself want to do something. So since I wanted my channel to be about scooters and riding and all this other stuff at skate parks and I haven't been interested in doing that anymore, I just haven't been uploading. I just haven't been riding. I've been too busy with work and other things. I just. I don't have time to ride, let alone I don't want to in the first place. Like, I want to be completely honest with you guys, it really sucks saying. It really sucks to feel this way. There's a big long story about why I started riding scooters, how long I've been riding, and everything else, which I'll tell you guys about in a second. I don't know, it's just really depressing. So, the reason why I got into scooters in the first place was because of my grandpa, and he's the one that brought me to a skate park in the first place almost 11 years ago so that was when i was introduced to skateboarding and bmx and of course obviously that didn't stick with me but that's still something i did and i still bond it with my grandpa through that he would take me every single friday and sit up there for two hours with me and watch me ride and uh see me pro see me progress but things got bad with him and he wasn't able to come out and see me ride as much anymore and I didn't get to go as much as, you know, I could have. That slowly grew me apart from riding as much as I used to, and it wasn't as fun anymore because he wasn't there with me. But obviously, it still kind of stuck with me. I still rode, and I still rode until maybe two months ago. Like, don't get me wrong, I really do like riding. I always have, but just getting a little old, and it sucks. And I just wish I still loved doing what I used to do. I used to look to scooters as something that made me happy, which also means something that pushed me away from the negative stuff in my life and made me happier as a person. And recently I just haven't been getting that push. There's a couple reasons to that, but I don't want to get into why I kind of lost my interest for scooters. It's not relevant. But yeah, I just completely lost my interest. I didn't see it as something that cured my depression and all this other stuff I just viewed it viewed it as something that I used to do so it just stopped I I don't know I just I used to go out and ride in complete freezing weather um, rain or snow even I would go find somewhere that was dry to go ride every single day and you know I can't force myself to do something that I don't want to do. That is why I stopped riding scooters. I just, I slowly lost interest for it after 11 years of riding. And I'm here now. It's, I grew up here. I grew up at the skate park literally from when I was at the age of seven. What's up? What up, what up? I just don't ride anymore and it really sucks. It's depressing to myself. Um, but you can't really force something upon yourself. So basically what I'm saying now is that's why I haven't been uploading, that's why I haven't been recording things, basically because I lost interest in all of it together. I, I even have an edit that I've been working on dedicated to my grandpa, but I don't know. It sucks. It really sucks. But the whole reason of me making this video is basically saying what my YouTube channel is becoming now. All 258 of you which watch my videos for scooters, I'm kind of letting you all down and it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad about myself quitting, but I can't really do anything about it. So what I'm wanting to change my YouTube into is a fitness channel. Um, something about progress and motivation and something that change people's lives because that's the kind of motivation that I've always needed 
that I've never never had from anyone. I, like I wish I had someone on YouTube that would sit down and like talk to you and like motivate you and push you to go somewhere and not really having anyone I kind of feel like if it's something that I'd enjoy doing why not be that person for other people five-year bodybuilding experiment something like that today was my fifth day at the gym I used to go to the gym all the time but I stopped going but this is my fifth day back at the gym I have everything I need I I'm prepared to do this though it's something that I really want to push myself to do and to motivate others and you know see the progress that I make and you guys will be able to see the progress that I'm uh, that I make and what you can make just by joining in with me five days a week for five years which is a really long time but I plan on uploading every single Friday because I'm off Thursday and I can record that day you know I'm making this video because also I don't really know how to jump into this subject or how to record everything or what I'm even going to record I'm thinking something along the lines of motivational stuff and what I'm eating and what I'm cooking what's healthy what's not ways to push yourself as a person I think some of us need that sometimes now something that goes along with all this because you need the positivity to be able to do this um, is something that's been that floated around YouTube for like maybe a week and that is fake positivity it is exactly what it is you tell yourself you're you're okay you're doing better and you can't improve yourself you gotta face the facts if you're facing depression or you know anything along those lines you can fix yourself and you can become happier you just need to take that first step you need to believe that you can take that first step and I think that's been the problem with me is because I've been wanting to make these videos about improving myself and hopefully motivating others to improve their selves by taking their first step and committing. That's literally the two things you need, first step and commitment. You can tell yourself over and over that you're not okay, you're not happy, whatever, but the second you start telling yourself that you are and you start making moves to make yourself improve and be happy, that's when things start changing. You're never gonna get anywhere unless you start making moves. And that's the only way that I can explain it is by saying fake positivity because you can't just snap out of depression like there could be a mound of puppies on your lap and you're still gonna be sad as shit it really is not easy no matter what you do no matter what you try it seems like you're always stuck in this hole but as soon as you take that first step and you start moving and you start believing that you're okay and believing that you're in a good mood and believing that you like yourself that's when things get better and that's when you start believing that you actually feel positive. So that's exactly what I'm doing, five years. And of course, it's not like I'm just gonna stop at five years. I wanna keep going, I'm still gonna keep improving myself. It's not just gonna be a five year experiment. It's going to keep going. That is basically it, guys. I'm sorry about the sudden change and all this other stuff, but I just had to let someone know. I just had to let you guys know about what's going on and why I don't upload and why you know, things that are changing and everything else. And believe me, this is not something you'd want to miss. And I hope I'm not letting too many people down by not riding scooters as much anymore. But personally, I would much rather choose this over riding when I don't enjoy it. I'll be coming out with my first video about this stuff on Friday, next Friday. So yeah, June 9th will be the first video for all this stuff. And you'll kind of get a little bit more of an understanding of what's going on and everything else and it's not gonna be just based off of fitness and food it's not gonna be just that it's gonna be also what I do on Thursday um, where I go um, the adventures that I take and everything else it's still gonna be the same thing it's just not gonna involve scooters the reason why I know I'm good with this decision is because I've never been this happy in my entire life this is what the gym and motivation and commitment does to you it's really worth it. All right, so that's basically it. I'm sorry to the ones that watch me for scooters, but I there's a change, and I think this change is gonna be really good. Trust me. Keep your head up, everyone. I'll see you all Friday. Wow, man.